Hi guys. Okay, so I finished reading this book like a couple days ago. So if you've seen the movie Ingrid Goes West, this is very that. But like in such a different way, I don't know, like I kind of had a love-hate relationship with this book. So I'm talking about I'm a Fan by Sheena Patel. Um, this is from Amazon. It's like a hundred and it's like 203 pages. It's the spine, that's the back. There's three different covers for this. I wanted the two other covers, but like it was gonna take so long to get here from the UK that I literally needed to read it now. So my impatience couldn't wait. So this is what it looks like. Um, I hate the green. It's so ugly. Like it's so, but it does catch your eye because it's so bold. But that's that. Um, basically, this is gonna be a really short review. Basically, it's a little too experimental. I did really enjoy the the titles of the chapters. They're so funny. Um, maybe I can show you guys that. So like, I don't know. Like one of them's called I Can't Even or let's see. This is gonna take a while. One of them's called Love That For You. Like, that's so funny. It has like so many funny chapter names and I can't even find them now. Nepotism it girl When you miss your man, that's not your man, but can't trip because he ain't your man, but he is your man. That's the name of the chapter I love this one. I might look innocent, but I screenshot a lot uh, I start my day with a complex blend green juice Simp there's one called simp Not every chapter name is funny, but uh, First of all, I didn't miss the red flags. I looked at them and thought yeah, that's sexy <laughs> The math ain't mathing That's probably one of my favorite chapter titles Okay, so those were just some of my favorite ones. The other ones are like, all right. <laughs> but anyways, um, so basically it's a little like too experimental. There's literally no dialogue, which is so bizarre. Um, it's like Ingrid goes west and by that I mean like she's very like the Ingrid character. Like she's obsessed with this man. Um, She's obsessed with this man and then the man has a wife, but I don't know if his wife is the woman that she's obsessed with. That's how she refers to them in the book. Literally like only three people have names, I think. Everyone else is like, like the main characters are literally nameless. She has no name. Um, as far as I remember, she has no name. And then the other two main characters is the man she's obsessed with. That's what she calls him in every sentence. Literally, she says, "The man I'm the man I'm obsessed with says, the man I'm obsessed with did this. The man I'm obsessed with like that's how he's." So it's that very annoying. Honestly, it got annoying. And then I don't know if his wife is this person, but she also has someone called the woman I am obsessed with. But then she would call him his wife. So I don't know if the wife of him and then the woman I am obsessed with is two different people. I still don't even know. So that's confusing, super confusing. Um, I think for the most part, I did enjoy the book because it's funny. She's just like, it's like Instagram is mentioned like almost every sentence, not every sentence, but like almost every chapter Instagram is mentioned. It's very like new... I don't know how to explain it, but it's very like modern, like a type of modern, like 
funny like social media type of um book but it is very very experimental um in terms of just like the format of the writing and like all of that because it goes back and forth from like past and present and there is no marker for you to know that there's that that's happening but you kind of like figure it out so that's very confusing um the girl the woman that she's obsessed with like she's stalking her instagram all the time she knows everybody that she knows only because of the stories that she posts on her instagram and like the people that she tags on the instagram so she ends up meeting like all these a lot of these people later and she needs to pretend like she doesn't know who they are but she does know who they are because she stalks the woman that she's obsessed with on instagram and the woman that she's obsessed with is basically like um what was her name taylor sloan in ingrid goes west it's literally like giving that vibe because she'll post like things on instagram but what's different is that this girl will post like businesses and like collabs and then like she'll post like donations or like fundraisers and it'll be like all of that and then the woman that she's obsessed with gets like tons of comments on like i don't know like what she ate for lunch and like she'll post everything that she eats every single day she'll post like everything that she does and i guess she's just like jealous maybe that this girl gets a lot of comments and attention on her instagram it's just like a lot of that and she ends up hooking up with the guy with the guy the man that she's obsessed with she ends up like liking him they end up going out they end up going out several times they end up hooking up several times but like he has like three other side chicks on top of his wife and it's just like this whole mess of like everyone's trying to get his attention the author especially the girl that the author is is especially trying to get his attention wants him so bad she ends up going to a psychic and then the psychic tells her that um because she shows the psychic a picture of him she's like there is so much like um not good energy around this person like this is like a temporary thing for you this is not a long-term person to be with be in a relationship with i think they end up breaking up later and then they just like still message back and forth and it's just like too much she has a boyfriend mind you the entire time that she later ends up breaking up with because he finds out that um they're going out and it's just like so chaotic and it's like honestly kind of hard to keep up just because there's no like quotes like air uh like quotes for like dialogue so you just kind of have to like figure it out I don't know it's just like that's why i mean by like experimental experimental so like i don't know it might be for you it might not be it was okay like i enjoyed it for the most part to be honest but i don't know i almost stopped reading it but i was so close to the end that i was like i need to finish reading it but it was kind of like i don't know the ending was like not the best it wasn't even like an ending it was just like a like she forgot to finish the other half of the book but whatever you know everyone can write their book however the hell they want but that was i'm a fan and i the reason i found out about it was um through jack edwards video uh he had like a huge book haul recently i think like a month ago and that's he it was one of the books that he like read or recommended i don't know whatever but that was like the only one that he showed that looked um really interesting but oh my god wait i want to show you guys this because I don't have it with me, I have to show you on my phone. Um, I want this book so bad. I don't even remember remember where I saw it now that I think about it. I think I saw it on Instagram, but I don't know whose Instagram. I don't know, but this book cover is so nice. And I literally want it so bad, like you have no idea. I can't find it on Amazon. Um, I'm just gonna have to find it somewhere else. But I started reading some of it, like the preview on Google Books, and it's actually like pretty good so far. I don't know, I kind of I kind of think it's like Amy Adams. It kind of looks like Amy Adams. Sorry for the giant ring light. But doesn't it look so nice? 
that cover is so beautiful i'm obsessed with it so much like i love that literally we will judge your book by its cover and i know you're gonna judge my book by its cover whenever that comes out but that's why it's gonna be the best book cover ever but anyways um so i just wanted to share that with you um there's another book i'm reading right now that i might not finish reading i don't know like it started off pretty good and then now it's kind of like getting into too much like lawyer stuff and court stuff and it's just like i don't know why but i feel like i'm in school when i'm reading that and like not in a good way it's just like oh my god i don't want to read that okay stop i don't know if i'm going to finish reading that book i'm not going to tell you what book it is because i really was drawn to reading it i don't know if i'm going to finish it or not but anyways, that was I'm a Fan. It is very, very, and Grid Goes West. I don't know if, if you like that movie, but I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies ever. Um, but yeah, it's literally that. Like, she literally was obsessed with buying everything that was, like, tagged on on these, the woman that she's obsessed with, all her friends' posts. Like, it can go from furniture to, like, cooking to, like, all these appliances, all this stuff. Like, she just, like, is such a fan, literally the name of the book is such a fan but it almost feels like she's a hating fan like a hater but anyways it's like it's pretty enjoyable i can see it being better displayed as a movie to be honest than um a book but whatever so check that out if that sounds interesting to you